in 24 right now. Holiday shopping will likely take you to big chains and websites at some point. But local stores are fighting to make sure you give them a shot, too. Kate Baumgartner from Indie Mom's blog is nice enough to join us this morning in what's already a busy shopping season. Right. Uh, you've written a, a good long blog about the impact of shopping local. This, by reading that, seems to be something very, very dear to you, very important to you. It is. You know, I recently read that for every $100 you spend at a small business, I think it's $68 comes back to the mm. local community. So think of that impact. And then I also read that um, small businesses employ over 47% of employees in our country. Yeah. So I mean, not only is it important to support them during the holiday, but it's important to support them beyond because think of how it's impacting your own community. Yeah, which is not to say that the large businesses don't spin those dollars back through, but the, the ratios are much smaller. It is. It is much smaller than it is local. Yeah. Uh, so, so when you think uh, as you're trying to convince somebody, look, this is some of the stuff that you can do if you've not given a shot at going to the shop next door. How'd you start that, uh, that conversation? Right. So we have our gift guide with uh -huh. all the gifts and they're all local. Okay. So for kids, I have actually this really cool bib. It's mm -hmm. Bibigo bib. It is adjustable, it's wipeable, it's created by a mom. Look at this. You can literally put your child in this bib and eat cereal in the is car. So cool. Isn't no, that cool? No, it really is cool. I mean, it's got this snap on the back, and as Kate and I were talking, I was kind of eyeing it, and it's just, it's not going to fit me. But man, are you sure? Does it come in dad sizes? I'll, I'll ask. Yeah. Some wings in there. There's Perfect for, bib. you know, watching TV. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, Bibigo Bib. <laughs> that's that's Bibigo one. Bibigo Bib. Yeah. All right. What's another thing on the list? Um, Roman and Leo. All it's right. a local store in Fishers, okay. created by a mom of three boys. Mm -hmm. Boy clothing is hard to find, oh, so yeah, she created this trendy. You can find trendy accessories and clothing for the little little guys that you're looking for. It is so easy. Well, not easy, but there are so many options for little girls because there are. everybody thinks, oh well, they'll want a lot. I got a son who likes to look a little dandy too. Yes. And was always difficult there. The basics are easy to find, but anything with a little flair, a little individuality, tough Roman to Roman and out Leo there. will hook you up. All right. <laughs> uh, give us another uh, sneak peek at the list. Okay, so I love um, small boutiques. Yeah. So, State of Grace, she's been on here, Libby Springer. There's, you know, Broad Ripple and Fishers, great trendy clothes. I like that she's a mom because yeah. you can be trendy, but you also got to be mom. That's right. So she gets that. Um, Magnolia Boutique, it's online. So if you want to shop online, they do offer free shipping in the U.S. So you can shop online and then ship that free in the U.S. And isn't that an interesting thing, too, because we think of the main big retailers as being the only online presence. But a lot of these local companies are, are getting wise about this. Yes, and free shipping. Yeah. You know, that's so ideal. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, good smelly stuff, too. That's another thing. We thought. do. Yeah. So, you know, those people that are hard to buy for. Mm -hmm. So um, Beauty Counter by Connie Skinner. She has these great gift sets this year. So they are a variety of, you know, lip glosses. Mm -hmm. or lipsticks so you're not just buying one you're buying a set <laughs> <laughs> and it makes it easier for dad to yeah I don't know what she'd want exactly. here we put it all together for you <laughs> we won't let you make that mistake right uh, candles too Primrose Candle Company it was actually just a local woman she's a social worker that started this as a hobby mm -hmm. and it's just kind of taken off and you can never go wrong with a good candle I think yeah. that's you know kind of the universal gift for anybody you know <laughs> I, I actually have a friend who's trying to start a candle company with basically sarcastic the fr phrases on them and they're oh, hysterical. That's cool. they're hysterical. I love that. So yeah, that's a growth industry. Exactly. Uh, shopping local. <laughs> Kate, thanks so much. Yes. If I don't get a chance to see you before Christmas, have good holidays Thank and, you. and good luck with your gift giving as well. Thank you, you too. It is uh, 928 <laughs> right now. We're at 30